Hello YouTubers, this is Champion DJK coming at you again with another video. And uh, today um, we're going to take a little look at uh, one of my favorite castings, uh, the Hot Bird. Uh, this is going to be a bit of a Variations Sunday post um, slash a Free the Peace post. So uh, um, shout out to Mr. Sensitivity and uh, Lamar Fashion. Uh, I'm going to show you some of my Hot Birds. So first off we got the one that is special to me because I played with it when I was a little kid. Um, this is one that I've had since childhood and as you can see it got played with a lot. It's pretty beat up. Um, this one's from the uh, 1989 Speed Fleet series. Still rolls really really nice. I might actually strip this one down and make a custom out of it because I'd like to make a custom hopper but we'll see. I probably won't use this one. I'll probably use something else but uh, Anyway, so that, that's the first one I've obviously ever had. I do have a version of this um, on card, although the card is a little, or the blister is a little crunchy, but there's the original card art that it came on. Uh, pretty sweet, metal flake blue. And then I also have one um, that I recently blister pulled, so the card was trashed on this one, and I couldn't wait to open it up, so I just did it. Um, so... There is the first hot bird that I've ever had. Well, this is the first hot bird I ever had. Here's the here's a minty version of it. So pretty cool. Um, and then going back in time. So this was 1989. We're going back in time to 1978. Here is the original hot bird. You can see you got a Hong Kong base. Um, I got this off of a buddy locally who just kept all of his cars from his collection when he was a kid in uh, really, really, really good shape. Um, and uh, I was able to uh, trade him some newer cars and stuff for this. So um, it was pretty cool to get this casting. So this is the original 1978 one. It's in really, really good shape. Um, really, really sweet to have. So there's that loose. <clears throat> And uh, let's see here. Next up, let's take a look at uh, this hot bird here. Um, this one is, I believe, from 1990. Yeah, I think it's 1990. Yeah, 1990. Still got it carded. Not going to open up this one today either, but um, might blister pull out eventually because the card is pretty yellowed. It's kind of hard to see on camera, but the card is very yellowed. Uh, this is pretty cool. We got Ultra Hot Wheels, All American Firebird. So, pretty sweet. Um, the next up, we got uh, Collector Number 178. Uh, this was 19. Uh, I think this was 19. What was it? It was like 1992 or something like that. Yeah, 92, I think. So. This one's pretty cool too. Um, I've actually got two of these hot birds, so we are going to crack one of them. So let's go ahead and uh, get right to it and free the piece on one of these. And there it is. Look at that bling. Look at the sparkle on that one. Pink interior. Pretty sweet. It's got ultra hot, so you know it rolls really well. Really cool. Um, so next up, let's take a look. I got more coming here. This one is just a basic one. This one is from uh, 2010. Um, this got sent to be loose by somebody I traded with on Instagram. They just sent this in as an extra. So that's pretty cool that I got this as an extra. I don't have any other version of this carded or otherwise. So, cool to get this hot bird right here. That's pretty neat. Um, let's see here. Let's start lining these up. And uh, then I got another one loose here that I opened and should have done it on camera, but didn't. This is the version of the hot bird with an opening hood. Um, so, as you notice, there's two rivets on this one. As opposed to all the other ones have one. So this is a different tooling um, of the hot bird. And this was in the Neo Classics series uh, that it was in 2008. And actually I do have another one of these on card. Uh, this is another one I just uh, 
couldn't wait to crack it, and I just wanted to open it up. I opened it up a while back and took some pictures and put it on Instagram. Um, very sweet. The paint job is just awesome on this, even though I got fingerprints all over it now. Um, but just a really, really cool detail on the back is awesome too. A back comparison here. Yeah, detail on the back is just awesome. Very, very cool looking. So I'll set that one over there. <clears throat> and uh, let's see here. Next up, we got a Cars of the Decades Hotbird. This one looks like it appears to also have an opening hood. Um, this was released in 2011. Uh, the blister on this one is pretty crunched too. The card's not in really good shape. So let's go ahead and free the piece on that one. <clears throat> and there she is. Pretty sweet. Got some minor tampo issues on the car. Hood open. Uh, hood opens, but it's really hard to get open on this one. So there's that. That's pretty cool. And then we got uh, one more here. This one is in the Hot One series. This is a recent release in 2012. This one's got a crack in the blister in the bottom. So, without further ado, we are going to free the piece on this one so I can crack it and take a look. Uh, this one is very, very nice. Opening hood. Hood opens right up. Pretty cool. Not really much front detail on it. Rear detail. But uh, really cool nonetheless. Got the fire chicken in the front there. Very, very cool. So here's another hopper for you. So, yep, hopper is one of my favorite castings. Um, I just love the kind of 70s Pontiac Firebird. I think it's a really cool car. I actually like the 80s Firebird too. And um, I have a bunch of the 80s Firebird um, that I might do another video of maybe next week, next Sunday maybe. We'll see. Uh, but anyway, that's going to be pretty much it. Um, thank you very much for watching. Uh, Thanks for subscribing. Thanks for the support for all my channel. Um, and have a great day. Thank you very much.